what is up everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're throwing it back majorly I actually have a couple of these videos already on my channel but I absolutely love to film what's in my purse I actually love to watch them just as much as I like to film them you know there's only, only so much what's in my purse content you can put out because how much are you changing your purse and how much are you changing what's in your purse but I have not done one in a while. I carry completely different stuff. Um, and I have a completely different purse. So if you guys want to know what I keep in here that I consider to be my everyday essentials, then keep on watching. So first off, let's start with like the bag itself. I actually just purchased this purse today. Um, I've been wanting a new one for a while. I will show you the one that I was using previously. This one is from Target. It was $15. I still love it, but I did want a little bit more of like a structured bag that's still small. I still will use this and use this on like quick little things, but for like an everyday bag, I do much prefer this one. Um, yeah, like I said, I got this one at Target for $15. I think the quality is good for $15. I'm not someone who cares about like name brand stuff. If I like the way a $10 purse looks, I'll get it. And if I like the way a $300 purse looks I like it I may not get it cuz expensive but you know what I mean so let's start up. then let's go into this bag the bag that I bought today I bought this bag from TJ Maxx I absolutely recommend you guys if you have a TJ Maxx near you go to the TJ Maxx because they have so many purses that are like good quality like genuinely good quality so this purse was $20 and this one was $15 and the quality difference is literally night and day this is amazing quality for twenty dollars i would expect it you could ch charge like sixty dollars for this honestly like the quality is so good so yeah that's probably enough talk about purses themselves let's talk about what's in it so if we just look at it like this i kind of just keep everything in the center they do have a little sides but i don't really like keeping stuff in there i kind of just like everything being in the middle for me so we will just go in like a random little order and we will start pulling stuff out so the first thing that comes out okay by the way i didn't put anything in here that's not genuinely in my purse daily i think it's kind of obvious when you can tell people like just threw stuff in to have like a more like longer video i'm not here for that these are just like i said everyday essentials so the first thing that i have is these um colgate wisps i can't Say that but yeah I absolutely love these things if you guys have never seen them before I will pull one out for you basically they are little little toothbrushes and they have a little bit of toothpaste in the middle and when you're on the go you can brush your teeth I am someone who and if not for this reason I would never ever have these but I am someone who's so prone to cavities and I, I snack a lot throughout the day and I eat a lot of sugary stuff and it's not good for cavities. It's going to give you cavities. Someone like me who's cavity prone already. I keep these just to brush really quickly and I can do it anywhere. You don't even need water to like activate like the toothpaste obviously. So yeah, I'm obsessed with these. They're little. They fit perfectly in my purse and I, I, I think they're actually so smart. Next up, we have a mask. So this is a mask I got from Amazon. I love the polka dot. This is Rona season as you guys all know. So I mean when I actually don't wear this mask to work this is the one place I won't ever wear this mask because it just is very thick and like it's one of those masks where like you literally like people cannot hear me like it muffles my voice so much so I don't wear it to work but I, I, I keep one in my car obviously for work but this one if I'm like on the go and I need it it'll be in my purse for me um yeah and it has like the nose wire it fits like amazing to your face it has the adjustable straps like this thing you'll feel safe in it it just is not ideal for working next up oh okay so here's my pepper spray so this is actually a new addition because Usually I would have, and I still do have it on, I have this pepper spray on my purse, but this is a recent pepper spray that went super popular on TikTok. Basically what it is, is it will connect to, they have an app and you connect it to your phone and on this app you can choose three emergency contacts and 
If you ever spray, so if I ever spray my pepper spray, all my emergency contacts get a text message that say, Katie just sprayed her pepper spray, she's in danger, and this is her location. And you keep like your Bluetooth services on and everything, and like by doing that, they'll send your exact location. And I think this is just genius. I, this, this is, why would you not get this one? This is by the brand um, Plegium, by the way, if you were curious. Next up, we have a claw clip. I love claw clips, I love them. Actually not true. I've been using them since I was like 10 years old. Um, I actually always thought that the hairstyle was very ugly. Like I never saw any of my friends doing it, but my mom was like, no, it's so cute. And I was like, mom, you don't know anything. You are ugly. I'm just kidding. I'm not saying like my mom's ugly, but I'm saying like, no. And they're so in style now. So I'm like, ooh, whoops. I spent so many years like hating on them. But yeah, I just, I keep one in here. I keep one in my car. I love throwing my hair up and it's an easy way to not have to worry about a breakage and it's really cute. These ones I got from Amazon and a pack of two. I'm obsessed with like anything cheetah print. Next thing that I pull out is floss. So again, with the whole cavity thing, this is just the Oral-B Glide Pro Health Deep Clean Floss. Um, again, getting stuff stuck in your teeth is gross um if you go out to lunch or something and you're not gonna be home for a while i would prefer to floss because again like i'm very cavity prone i wish that i did not have to carry a whole bathroom sink with me but i kind of do because i don't want cavities yeah so i keep floss my wallet this is my card holder i've had it for a couple years now um I don't really think there's anything interesting in here and I'm not trying to show you uh, all my debit cards, but I have debit card, credit card, you know, store cards, rewards cards. Obviously I have my license, like Epic Pass when I go snowboarding and I can like reload it. I don't know. I don't think there's anything, I don't think there's anything interesting in a wallet in my opinion, but yeah. Next up, I have hand sanitizer. I got this from Target, um, obviously again, I mean I always carried hand sanitizer in my purse before Rona. Did I actually use it? I don't think so. I was disgusting, but now I do. I love this like one that they have. It's their naturals made with plant-based alcohol because it does not smell disgusting and strong and disgusting and disgusting like hand sanitizers have been smelling. For some time now this is great like sometimes before i would literally be in my car and like put hand sanitizer on my hands and i would literally have to roll down the windows because i felt like i was like killing myself with these fumes like they're strong so this one's great i don't get that at all i just have receipt these are cvs receipts i'm not gonna un actually no i can't yeah so um they're long but sometimes they have actually really good coupons on there so I definitely recommend you guys to go to CVS keep the coup keep the receipt sign up for their dang it I messed up sign up for their rewards all right so then I have just some chapstick this is literally just aquaphor from the tub put into a little tub I got a pack of these little things off Amazon like a pack of like too many more than I needed but I just keep this um in here because it's so annoying to have to carry around the big aquaphor tubs you guys know what I'm talking about I'm not keeping that in there and aquaphor is by far my favorite chapstick so yeah I just keep a little one in my purse and next up I have a tampon I love these tampons let me just say I mean to each their own I respect people's boundaries I I have watched a lot of what's in my purse videos and like some girls get so like shy talking about like these these tampons like for periods like I, I don't understand if you don't want to talk about it yourself that's fine but I don't think you should like not talk about it because you're scared of like grossing people out like it's the female anatomy it's natural let's it's okay to talk about it you know they just it annoyed me every time I watch them but yeah I just keep one tampon in because um when I'm actually on my period, I'll put more in, but like this is just like a just in case type thing. Um, I am on birth control, so I know like when I'm gonna get my period, so it's never like a surprise to me or anything like that. So, yes. 
we are nearing the end. I have a pen. Um, I think everyone should have a pen on them at all times. Um, two job interviews ago that I went to, I had my own pen and they were like so impressed by that. Um, you never know when you're gonna wanna write something down or you know you need to sign something and you can use your own pen. I just think it's like, you, it's professional. It is professional in my opinion. So yeah, I always have this, or a pen. I have two hair ties. These are like last resort just in case like I need to do something. I try not to use these types of bands anymore because they tend to break the hair. That's why I have the claw clips, but they're just in case. Last two things, I have Tylenol Sinus Severe. I get really bad allergies and I'll get really bad sinus pain and these are by far the best things that I've ever had in my life. Nothing has helped with the sinus pain more from allergies, so if you guys also suffer that, I recommend you get that. And then lastly, I have some Zycam. Um, I have some Zycam. It basically says it shortens colds. They're like a citrus flavor. When I bought these a little bit ago, I didn't know they were homeopathic, but I genuinely think that they work. Whenever I start to feel myself getting like, don't worry, I don't have coronavirus, but like whenever I start to feel like a little like runny nose or I just don't feel good, a little sore throat, like these, I, I genuinely love them and I think they taste delicious. So, you know, if you're ever out and you just start to not feel too well, I genuinely think these help me a lot. And you know, when you're out with like your friends or something, you don't wanna be like feeling bad. So that's why I have them. So yeah, that is all that I keep in my purse. Um, it's empty now. And yeah, that's, that's all. I love these videos. I've been wanting to film this video for so long now. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching just as much as I enjoy watching them and enjoy filming. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next.